Okay, now for the useful utility weapon. Oh, this music's neat. It's Tunnel Rhino. I kind of like his design, combining uh, drills and rhinos. Ah, uh, Triad Thunder. Now, how did I get hit there? Oh, there was that rock. But uh, the Triad Thunder, it just kind of tears through enemies, especially in this stage. Those guys normally take a lot of hits. Same with those. As we saw one of those in, uh... Hey, a heart tank. We don't know how to get that. Well, okay. I know how to get that. Maybe you guys don't. But, uh, just take my word for it that we can't get it right now. And that sand pushes us into the, uh, ground. <laughs> and I'm surprised I did not see that coming. I'm almost dead. That's a problem. And how do we solve our problems in Mega Man X3? By punching them in the face. Oh, wrong series. Okay. And we come in here, and we should have a fight against Bite. Or Bit. Hello? Okay, I guess not. Uh, well, on the Super NES version, I remember him always appearing in the first stage after, um, no, I don't like you. Always appearing in the first stage after seeing that cutscene. And, uh, well, we killed each other. That works. But now I'm back with full health. Let's use this some more. Triad Thunder. So it acts as kind of like a uh, quick little barrier weapon. So you guys can imagine why I love it so much. Uh, overall, this stage isn't super uh, unique. We have another one of those things. We've got rocks, we've got some sand that tries to push us down, more rocks, uh, pits, spikes. A lot of uh, standard stuff. And we have another gate here, and we have a mini boss to fight. I'm going to try using a special weapon on him. I've never done this before. So he'll uh, ram the wall, and when he does, uh, it'll kind of earthquake. It'll freeze, it'll freeze your uh, movement controls. And this is what I don't like happening. Oh, I don't like him landing on me. Normally I kill him or come close to killing him before he does that. Yeah, but maybe the frost shield wasn't as powerful I was as I would have liked on that. That's okay. Just hit him with a lot of charged attacks. And then he blows up. Now, uh, when I was younger, I had this game, like I said, I had this game, like, memorized like the back of my hand. And I would always come here first, because I liked the utility-ness of his weapon. But, uh, I had the number of enemies, like, basically counted out. I think it's 11 enemies after that mini-boss that you have to fight. Okay, maybe that's not as good as I'd like. So, there's one, there's two. Let's see if I remember. I think it was either 9 or 11, but I'm going to go with 11. So that was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but I'm not killing him, 8, not killing you either, 9. Oh, it was 9. Well, one of the numbers I said was right. Tunnel Rhino, we don't have his weakness. So we'll just have to do this with the Buster.
You know, at first I really hated the remix uh, of that. Uh, oh, come on, of that uh, music, the intro where they're just dropping down. But uh, after a while, I grew to kind of like it. Tunnel Rhino, he's not very challenging. Just don't uh, stay on the wall when he's when he rams it. Otherwise, it locks up your movement controls and knocks you off the wall. But uh, as long as that doesn't happen, he's not difficult to dodge. Yep. And he might try to fake you out sometimes. I do appreciate that. Other than that, uh, this uh, there's a demonstration of that. Other than that, uh, this is one of the reasons why I deem the X series a bit easier overall than the classic series. Because you can just hang out on the walls and uh, can't be hit by any of his attacks. I also remember as a kid thinking that this guy was really difficult and dying to him. Clearly my opinion has changed over the years. And for that, we get Drill Shield. Clearly that's a shield weapon, just like our Frost Shield. Tornado Fang. Okay, I'm more okay with that 